Super Problems has a, a little bit of a challenge. Uh, the first thing I'd notice is that uh, there are four ratios, so we know we're in a quadrilateral. That's nice to know. And also I want to emphasize the order uh, really matters, that there's a four and then a five and then a four and then a five. What that means is these are opposite sides uh, because of the order they come in. So we want to make sure that when we think about uh, what these could be, um, we identify it based off of their sides. The other thing I'll mention is that, again, this, this particular problem is about sides and not angles. The next one is about angles. So let's think about uh, some possibilities. Well, um, a parallelogram could be our guy, couldn't it? Because in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal, and these proportions would maintain equality. That's one answer. It also could be uh, a rectangle, couldn't it? Because opposite sides of a rectangle are equal. It could be a rectangle. Could it be a square? Well, no, because in a square, they would all have to be the same. So it's not a square. Could it be a trapezoid? Ah, that's interesting. Um, and it could definitely have a 4 here and a 4 here, because if it's an isosceles trapezoid, that would work out nicely. But the 5 and the 5 would not work out here. So it looks like our two solutions are um, our, our guy right here, the parallelogram, and the rectangle because of the order of 4, 5, 4, 5, making opposite sides equal.